Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in to Catching Kiara. I'm super excited because it's the holidays. I am loving it. I love being with my family. I love being with family and friends and just always having things and get together at the house or whatever. I just love the fellowship, yeah. But anyways, I'm super excited because I have a special guest coming. This week's episode is Cooking with Key, and that's cooking with the K, of course. Catching Kiara, you know we reinforce the K. But I have some reinforcement coming in to uh, share a holiday treat with you um, from our family. I think this is actually how I started getting a little juicy because I kept eating the, the special dish that, that has been traveled down through the years through the family and the generations. So I can't wait to share it with you. It's one of my favorites. And then of course, maybe for Christmas or next year, we'll give you another tip. Um, but also, I have been into clean eating, healthy eating. I'm still juicy, but I'm still healthy. So I put away pork, beef, and I try to manage the dairy because I can't give up cheese all the way. But I've been doing the fish and the the chicken so like seafood and I feel good with traveling and waking up I don't feel as heavy or weighed down so I'm really excited to share this with you so I'm gonna do some tips today I'll do like some jerk salmon um, some mushrooms I like mushrooms everybody else don't like mushrooms so in case you don't like mushrooms I'm gonna do some broccoli just to add some greenery to it and then the the other dish is like a surprise so here we go I hope you enjoy it and I hope you share it with your family of course but she's always beautiful and of course as ladies would sometimes rather be late than not look good and she's fabulous it's my y'all been asking for her too I've been reading the comment sections and all of that y'all even been DMing me saying get your mama back on there so here's my beautiful mother Karen Clarkshire here you are mommy Beautiful. Yes. Which means I'm suitable. Okay. Hey, suitable to do what you need me to do. All right. <laughs> suitable. <laughs> well, um, it's Thanksgiving. Yes. And some of your best dishes are what? What do people always ask you for? Oh, my macaroni and cheese, my uh, my sweet potatoes. Yes. Yeah. And, and your green. Greens. That's right. Duh. You always, her greens are amazing. So hopefully we'll do that another season or maybe for Christmas. But of course, you know, mom, we're on our YouTube channel. You've heard about it and I've told you yeah. about it. They like our videos and all that good stuff. Isn't she fabulous? I'm sorry, I'm cooking and playing on my mom's hair. It's okay, it's just mom's hair. <laughs> but anyway, so we're preparing for Thanksgiving and one of my favorite dishes are your mac is your macaroni. Yeah. Can you tell us? where you got the recipe from, and what started you with that. Okay, my recipe came from, uh, actually it was passed down from Mother Shear, your grandmother. My Nana. Yes, yep. And it was passed down from her because we had days where she told me, well, I need you to get over here because you got to learn how to cook for my son. Uh -oh. So, you know, you know, I had to get over there, make it right for him, you know. We always want to please the husband now. Yes. So what, what? But the greatest thing to do is to go over there and get tips from his mom. So um, I went over there. Did y'all hear that, ladies? Yes. You gotta be in with the mama. Oh, it's yeah. so unfortunate, even when you don't like them. Very important. But that, you know, there are monster in laws, but <laughs> no, <laughs> no, she's not that at all. You know, I never had a problem with my mother in law. She's been nothing but helpful to me and a role model. So I went over home and she said, get over here, girl. You got to come over here and learn how to cook for my son. So I got the recipe from her. Cool. Yeah. So can you walk us through the recipe of the macaroni and cheese? I start. I tried to start mm -hmm. and hopefully I didn't burn anything. Oh, oh. But this is actually a pot that you bought for me. Yes, I'm so proud of you. You started good. This is my first time using oh. this pot. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Good job, good job. So did I do this right? You did. All right. We don't want to overcook the macaroni and cheese. Okay. So we want to take that off. Okay. And then we want to strain it. Okay. When straining, when you strain it, which means we want to make sure that all of the residue is off of there and it's clean. And the, because if it's not, it will stick. Okay. So that's one important thing that you want to do. Okay. So you want to strain it? Get, get a strain strainer. Yes. And after you take the strainer, you're going to you're going to wash it off with hot water. So okay. you got to let your water run okay. until it's almost scalding hot. So right here, sir. hot water. Is this hot water? Yes. Okay. So what you want to do? <laughs> so as you pour, you want to make sure that it's yes. And then you want to run it the hot water through it. Okay. So. <laughs> So you want to make sure here, here you go, that's your job. Uh-oh. Keep the hot water going. Oh, keep it going? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just kind of, you know, let it run through. Okay, shake it too much. Yes. Because you want to get all of the residue off of there so your um, salt and ingredients will not stick. Okay, can we open the window? My, my hair is sweating out. This is my natural hair today. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So what we want to do is we want to be neat as possible. <laughs> yeah. We want to make sure that we are neat. Okay. Okay. So we want to take the remainder. If you want to take the remainder, you can. Okay. As much as you can. Use all of this? That's good. That's good. That's good. You don't have to use all of it. That's good. Because our pan is very small. Right. So. Come over here. Yes. And now, we want to try to, it's hot, so we want to make sure everything that needs to be melted, be melted. Okay. So let's get our butter in there right quick. All right. While it's hot. Here's the butter, we've melted it. Yes, let it go all around. Put it all in there. there. Save some for later. Save some for yes. later. save some for later. Let's stir it around. Stir it around. Yes, stir it around. And we used how many sticks of butter? Approximately a one and a half, I believe that was. Okay. One and a half a stick of butter. And then you're going to, you can put your seasoning in there right quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put your seasonings in there. You have. My seeds, what am You I can do to... a little pepper. Where's the pepper? Uh oh, it's yes, not much just pepper. Just a little, just a little. Good, 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 <laughs> good. Okay. We got pepper in there. <laughs> All right. Now let's do our um, eggs. Eggs? Yes. Okay. Now I usually try to swish my eggs, but we're gonna do it this time. Okay. So let's do both of them in there, which means we must take them and let's try to, it's important for you to swish next time, Kira. Okay. Because this is wasting our time, which With means if you had it swished, it would, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta make sure that egg is, is throughout in there. Whereas when you swish, that means it'll be, you, it'll go throughout the whole. And when you mean, when you say swish, you're talking about breaking the yolk. Like just, yes. what, is, what do you call it? You can it? take uh, this yes, thing, right? Yes, breaking the yolk, stirring it up. And then, of course, you want to, when you swish it, you will swish it in here. And then you can pour it in there and everything swish. is done. Okay, next. Swish is her turn. Make sure you got it all. Go to the side. Go all the way over. Yeah, be careful. Yes. And we want to try to be as neat as possible because it ta it gives you more work after you finish. Right. And when you're done, you, if you notice, I took the remainder of the trash, everything, put it on side. Yes. Now next we'll do our cheese. All right. The cheese, this is why it's called macaroni and cheese. Take it around, go all the way around, not in one spot. Okay. All right. So stir it real good. Real good, real good, real good. Yes. Uh-oh. Yes. We want to be neat as possible <laughs> because we want to make sure that if you have someone coming, especially if Nana comes, and right. she sees your message, she'll be like, girl, don't nobody want to eat and exactly, you looking like that. Exactly, exactly. So good. Stir, stir, but stir. I keep messing up. That's okay. Just stir, stir, stir. And our, our hands are clean, so we're good. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Yeah! So that's so important. <laughs> As you, now 
not I love cheese. And do you cheese like cheese? Like I hate that scene. <laughs> um, but I love cheese. So get your bowl, get your cheese, next get bowl. some more cheese. Yes, more cheese. We want it, we want, not all of it, not all of it. Yes. That's good. That's good for now. That's good because we want to leave the remainder to put on the top. Okay. top it. So yes. What? Keep on going. All right. Keep go to the sides. This go cheese looks so good. It Can does. I have this? You know what? You're not supposed to cheat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good, good, good. I'm sorry. Good, good, good. And see, some people put salt and pepper. To me, if you wait on the salt, because you got a lot of salt in your cheese sometimes. Uh. And we want to make sure that you keep it neat. <laughs> amen. You want to make sure that you, I think you that's gonna the subject. You going to put an amen? You going to give me an amen after that? <laughs> we brought the church on. Okay. So, we want to make sure that you continue okay. to stir. Now, let's put a little of the pet milk. I use... These are two cans. Each bottle is two cans. So we're using a small proportion, so we're just gonna do one can today. One can of pet milk. Let's try to stir that in there. And for us millennials, cause I went to the store and I was looking for pet milk and That's I kept good. saying, Stop. where's the pet milk? So I was looking for animal milk. Oh. And they said, oh no ma'am, you're looking for the evaporated milk. So yes. that's what you're looking that's for. That's exactly what But it is. pet milk is the brand. Absolutely, yes. yes. No, I, I didn't think it was, let me make that straight for y'all think I'm crazy. I didn't think it was actual animal milk. I just, I told them and they were like, we don't have pet milk. So, so continue to stir. We have canned milk, but evaporated milk. The reason why I like pet brand is because it's buttery. It has a buttery taste and it has a little bit of sugary taste to it too. Okay. So continue to, and you want to make sure that it's okay to be soupy because when you put it in the oven, it's gonna dry it up. Okay. Okay? It's gonna soak all of that up. Good. I'm making a huge Okay. And pour in a little bit more pet milk. More pet milk? No yes. more cheese yet? Yes, yeah, a little bit more cheese too. That's oh. good? Yes. So Stop. you keep, that's good. That's good. I'll mix the cheese in there. Need more cheese. Need more cheese? Oh, we forgot. Okay. So can you get some cheese? I got you. Yes. These so, now another uh, another idea that I use is that this is craft. Take your craft cheese mm -hmm. and squeeze it in there. I usually make sure all of that is squeezed out. We squeeze that's that's by the craft um, cheese deluxe. Yeah. And this is cheddar cheese, um, by the way. So we're gonna. I like this because it, I like that melted kind of. A mixture of cheese. We gotta have a lot of. We have mozzarella. We have this Mexican. is actually the Mexican. What is it? The Mexican, Mexican blend. Yes, I like the Mexican blend because it makes it taste really um, moist. Make it moist when you use that as well. How many of these would you? I, like to in use? here, I would like to use. Let's try one more. Let's let's do. Is, was that two? Yes. Let's do. Um, let's mix that first. Mix, mix that first. first. Yes. Yeah. See, this this kind of remind me of ice cream. So we want to kind of kind of get that in our mind. And I know this is not a part of our clean eating, but it's okay to have at least one cheese it's side okay. item. Yes, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. See how pretty that is? Coloring is important. Coloring is important because it just when you set it on the table, it brings color to the table and it adds, you know, it looks delicious. Yes. Okay. See how pretty that is? Yeah. Okay. To me, I love a little butter. You can mix it in. You can. I would Some taste it. Yes. And you taste it to your liking. Just a little. Good. Now you taste it. Taste it. Yes. Always do a little taste. It's okay. Do a taste test. Get a little. What do you think it needs? Mmm. It's, it's good, good already. So is it? Okay. If you feel good, always go by your first tasting. I would put a little bit more cheese. Okay, put a little bit more cheese in. It's good though. Mix some cheese. Mix some cheese, good. Now for those of you who like, for those of you who like, some like their macaroni and cheese sweet. If you like it sweet, I like mine not too sweet, but I like to put a little bit of sugar in there because it just kind of blends it. Not make it sweet, sweet, because I like it, you know, salty too. 
but what you can you can put just a just uh grab the sugar in your hand and just um gradually put it all over but we're not going to use sugar this time that's for those of you who like it sweet okay so we're mixing now and as she continued to mix oh it's getting Listen, thick now this is a workout because yes it is <laughs> my arm is tired right, right i need to use the left arm because that's the one with the roll in it so keep tasting it's important to taste because you don't want your first taste experience to be at the table so you it's very important that you taste your food to your liking making sure that it um it's, it's meet good. your taste buds, yes. Okay. Did you taste it? No. Okay, taste. That's too much. This girl want a big <laughs> lunch meal out of the macaroni and cream. <laughs> Just a tasteful, tasteful. Okay. What is it's it? It's good, y'all. It's good? Okay. It, does it need anything? Does it need any more pet milk? No, it's good. You good? Okay. You want to taste? Yeah, let me taste. Okay, what you want to do is rinse off the spoon. Uh oh. You know, because you, you don't want to well, keep dipping in there. Okay, we rinsed it off. So we want to taste it. And when you taste, mmm, that is pretty good. What Very you, good. What you think it means? Nothing else to me. Just okay. like you said. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. So I'm good with that. Let's pour a little bit more pet milk in it. More? Just a little, just a teeny Why bit. more put why? More. Because it has a little bit of sugar in it. That's good. That's good. Okay, so we want to mix that up. We're done. Actually, everything is done. The last thing you want to do to make it look pretty, you always want to set your table, make it look, everything look pretty. Let me tell you something, babies cheering, all my babies out there. This Mama Kate talking. <laughs> Don't put your, your dish on the table with all the drippings on the side. That doesn't look nice, sweet babies. So what you want to do, I tell you a little secret. Okay, here, we're done, right? Yes. Everything's done. So what you want to do is get your rag. Get, well, no, we don't want to do the rag. Let's be safe and do a piece of paper towel. All right. Get a piece of paper towel and then. She wants you to go around the bowl like this, y'all. Yes. Huh? Do you have paprika? Paprika? Pep? Oh, baby. <laughs> baby, baby. It's not paprika, mommy. What, what is it? Paprika. Okay, well, they taught us back in the day it was paprika. And it does look like it's, <laughs> it's spelled paprika, isn't it? No, it's spelled paprika. Oh, okay. But that's okay. Okay. That paprika. <laughs> paprika, yes. That's fine, too. So, if you have some paprika or whatever you want to call it. Is it paprika? It's paprika, right? To make it pretty. I paprika. paprika. You spell it. I, I, I spell it paprika. Paprika? Yeah. Maybe it's paprika. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Okay. Okay, so you want to, you see how she's making that pretty? She's cleaning that up on the side. You see how nice that looks? Sorry, let's Google it. Yes. Let's see what it is. She's still on that. Paprika. What is it? Paprika. paprika. Paprika, you're right. Paprika. And seriously. Oh, do time. Do time. Oh, yeah, is it time Race. or thyme? Which one is it, Mommy? Time or thyme? Time. Baby, that ain't working. Paprika. Baby, we said time or thyme. <laughs> She's actually, we're going to go with what Siri said. Yes. We're going to go with you. You were right. You were correct. But is it time or thyme? We want to know that one. Time. Too. Okay. okay, so we're at the end now. Take your cheese. My cheese. Your last portion of cheese. We want to make it pretty. I might as well use this first. Time. Yeah. Can't. Time. Time. Oh, yeah. Okay, mommy. Yep. Time. Time. Just put. Those of you who like cheese, to me, you can put as much cheese as you like to make it cheese. Some people like it. As actually, the more cheese, the more, you know, the it more is fat. what it is macaroni and cheese. Okay, so we're making it pretty now. And just take your hand and rub it and make it pretty around there. Keep it pretty. Yes. Just pat it like. Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> and that is our conclusion. That's it. It's yes. so good, y'all. Try it. Yes. So now I put it in the oven. Yep, put it in the oven. 
And you want to leave it, actually you want to leave it, um, put it on the top or the bottom. Where's, where's the top? Oh, we ain't put no aluminum foil either. You want aluminum foil? No aluminum foil. We want to be pretty. We want to keep it pretty. Oh. So we have a top. I have a top for you. Thank you, Mom. I know you've been used to the aluminum foil, <laughs> but to keep it pretty, you want to make sure that everything is done. Especially if you have a guest over, you don't want your guests coming over and they see aluminum foil on top of the pants. Really? If it's right, right, poo poo, kiki in them, you know, go ahead, yeah. yeah, you're shot aluminum. Right, and it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, you know, when you're home by yourself. But when you're having guests, yeah, you want to yeah. put it in the oven, make it look pretty like that. Okay? So after, open it up for me. So after we put that in there looking pretty, you want to make sure that's pretty because when your man come over, I don't know who he is, make sure you go home though. Uh -huh. uh -oh. Is he going home or is he staying there? Uh -oh. But anyway, Whoa. the point is... Whoa. <laughs> I can't say that. But make sure everything is done decently and in order. That's what the Bible says, okay? So you know I got to get spiritual on it. So, so after we finish, we want to put the oven on at least 350. Let's start with 350. Okay, 350 is there. Mm -hmm. And then just start, right? Yeah. Start time, how long should we cook it? We'll cook it, let's say a good 40, 40 minutes. 40 minutes? 40, yeah. 40 wait, minutes. Wait, no, wait. Clear. Soon as she figure out, you know, her new stove. Uh -oh. And it's, it's okay to have a new stove, but no, 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 you Know your times and your, uh, because you don't want to burn it up. We don't want a crispy macaroni and cheese. 40 minutes, mommy. And you don't want to, yeah, 40 minutes. But you don't want to have to scrape your pan right. to get your macaroni and cheese. So we want to make sure we have the right timing. So we'll do 40 minutes. 40 minutes, yeah. yeah. Cool. 40 minutes. And we just let it cook, is that it? Let it cook. And when you see that brown, like it browning on the top, that's on the sides, yes. that's when you, and then what another taste you can do to make sure it's done is take your knife and if it comes up and it's still moist on the knife, it's not done. Okay. But if it come up and it's just, you know, all you see is just there, mac and cheese. But if it's juicy on that knife, it's not done. Okay, yes. it's just a little tip. So. Perfect. Yeah. I'm thankful for my mommy. I'm gonna get my daddy on here one time. He's not into the whole camera thing and all of that. And I'll do, I know y'all been asking for it, but I'm thankful for my family. I absolutely adore them. I say it all the time. I'm obsessed with them. I intrude on my parents' dates often. Mommy encourages family meetings if there's an issue. Absolutely. And we're all over it, but I have to say, the reason we are connected is sometimes because of mommy's family meetings and the bond that we have like it's so rock like solid um, so I'm super thankful for them I'm thankful too because my mom was at 2% chance of living before and there could have been other holidays where I could not have had my mom my best friend so I'm thankful for that so we're wrapping it up wait oh. I gotta say I'm thankful for amazing daughter yes that God has given me I'm thankful for you thank you mommy you know why I'm thankful? Because one of the reasons is that this is amazing that you have an amazing show such as this Thank to you. encourage, you know, your peers and not make it selfish and yes, hold it to yourself. But you reach out to them. You reach out and touch somebody's head. I am make you hush. <laughs> and I'm just so thankful. You just completely I'm, I'm distracted sorry. now. <laughs> But yes, I'm just thankful, I'm proud of you. I'm not, you know, uh, at home crying my eyes out because, oh, where's my daughter at? She's gone crazy. But yeah, but yeah. I'm thankful to God that you into intelligent, you know. <laughs> intelligent. And, and so I'm just grateful for my children. Thank you, Mommy. Yeah. We're grateful for you. And thank you for not giving up on it. So we wish you all the best. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy um, holidays. Listen, if you need to go to a family member and say sorry or, th or accept an apology that you may never get, go and make sure you put the love out because at the end of the day, you're going to have to answer to Jesus and he's going to say, what did you do? And so make sure you're grateful. You're carrying a heart of repentance and thankfulness. And um, just you, you feel better. Actually, you'll find this. What does the scripture say about jealousy eating at your bones? It's like a cancer Full to the bone. Bones. 
the grave. Yes, and it's as cruel as the grave. So just make sure you're doing what you can do to make sure you're in a good place with Jesus as far as being a living epistle. And then if you don't have family to share it with, listen, God will give you friends. I've seen it. Not everybody that comes to our holiday dinners are, like, we don't have the same blood running in our family. But when I say they are family, it's not always blood that makes you family. It's the bond. It's the loyalty. It's just that we just rock together. And I think that the Lord will give you that. So go to wherever you need to be and make sure you enjoy it. And don't be sitting nowhere cooped up in the corner. Because what the, what the, what y'all used to say, uh, an idle mind is a devil's, devil's workshop. workshop. So make sure you have somebody in your corner. I love you and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for cooking with Keith. Okay.